Hi and welcome to another video of SpaceX update. For the last couple of days, a very unpopular, probably a never heard before, startup rocket company called Python Space came into the spotlight among the space communities. A California-based rocket company, claiming itself to be a challenger to Elon Musk and SpaceX, recently got a lot of undeserving attention because of this. Watch this. In this video, its employees could be seen in a run for your lives kind of situation when the testing began. This test was conducted on March 19th, and the original video was uploaded on Vimeo. The video went largely unnoticed because no one cared about a rocket poised to beat the Starship program until some rocket experts found the video. Competition is a good thing in the space industry which leads to innovation and reduction in cost, but that doesn't mean going to Mars should be taken as easy as creating renders, even those are hard. After people began to expose their stupidity and lack of experience, they edited the original video cutting out the employee's running part and even turned off the comments option. The space community was fumed when this video went viral that showed some serious concerns about the safety protocols at the test site and their complete lack of experience in rocketry. Why and how do they think they are going to Mars with this team or even build a rocket? But things got uglier when they posted an update regarding the reactions to their video. In this released note, they talk a lot of gibberish including questions on Elon Musk's background in the aerospace industry. It seems like they can't admit their mistake and can't take criticism despite being a new and small startup rocket company. Space News reports that South Korea has signed five new contracts with SpaceX to launch the country's five spy satellites through 2025. This is the second time that South Korea has chosen SpaceX to launch its satellites, the first one being the Anasis 2 mission back in July 2020. Moving on to Starbase, the road closure is in effect today for the real, Mars-bound rocket testing. It looks like some cryo-load testing on Booster 7 and possibly a thrust puck test. Booster 7 currently sits on top of the can crusher after removing from the orbital launch mount last week. I will post an update when the testing concludes to tell you what test actually happened. That's it for now. If you like the content of this channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any SpaceX-related news in the future.